Hey guys, it's Beth, and today I have a project share of some travel themed junk journals that I made using paper from my school pad from Craftsmith that I'm working on killing off. When I did my pad preview video at the beginning of this Killapad project, I had mentioned that I wasn't sure how I wanted to use this sheet of paper. It was a map of the United States, like all 50 states, and I didn't want to cut it down because I felt like it would have lost something by cutting it down, but I wasn't sure how to use it in its full image. So Sarah from Crafting and Relaxing here on YouTube suggested I use the map page as a journal cover. So thank you, Sarah. I totally took your idea and that is what I did. I did end up cutting it down a little bit. I made it eight and a half by 11 so that I could laminate it for the journal cover. So I lost a little bit of the compass rose down here and then the bottom tail of Alaska. But I was able to keep at least the continental United States intact and I wanted to keep the label of the map of the United States. So I decided to do a junk journal format. I've never done one of these before, but it was on my list of things to try. And this is not complete at all, as you can tell by the rubber band that's holding it together here and the rubber band that's binding it right here. I'm still trying to figure out what kind of cord I want to get and how I want to, what kind of enclosure I want to put on it but I'm trying to wrap this pad project up and so I wanted to go ahead and share this with you guys. So I decided to do these for my daughter. I made two of them. They're not exactly the same, but they are similar because we hope to do a lot of camping this summer. Our camper was in the shop for most of last year, so we didn't get to camp hardly at all. So we are really jonesing to get out and camp a bunch this summer. Plus we want to take a bigger vacation. So I thought, this would be a cute way for them to document our fun times this summer, like where we've been, what we've done. They can include pictures, they can include drawings, journaling, they can include some memorabilia in here like the ticket stubs or stickers or little pamphlets. They both like to pick up the pamphlets when we go places. So this could be a place where they could include those or part of those or whatever. It's whatever they want to do. And it can also, it's also something that they can work on when we camp because as I've mentioned before, I don't camp. I mean, we have a camper, so I have this luxury, but I don't camp without my crafting supplies <laughs> because, when, you know, I always need downtime because we're usually going, 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 either sightseeing or hiking, depending on where we are. And so, like, my downtime relaxation is to craft a little bit. So I figured since I will have craft supplies on hand most of the time, that this is something that they can do while we're camping, while it's fresh in their mind, It'd be a good project for them. So anyway, we will kind of do a quick walkthrough. Like I said, I did laminate the cover and then I hope to kind of do poke holes through here and kind of do a binding, like find a cord that will work and do my binding that way. Kind of, I'm staying simple on this one since this is my first one. And so I only have, I guess what you call signature, like one signature in here. Um, tried to keep it fairly simple. The papers I used, they're not necessarily all travel themed. I just went through my stash of paper and pulled out the bright colors or patterns that I thought they would enjoy or images of things that we might do or encounter while we are traveling. I kept embellish embellishments to a minimum for right now. One, I'm just kind of trying to figure this out, but two, I want them to be able to do more embellishing as they travel, as they journal and document the trips. So there is more that I would like to do to these before I give them to my girls, but for the most part, I think the, the embellishments are done. I just may add some, like I would like to add a pocket, maybe on the front and back cover or like an envelope or something, just so they can have some extra storage for memorabilia and then I don't know if I want to add any more pocket pages throughout. Uh, if any of you are junk journal enthusiasts or experts, if you have any tips or any ideas, please let me know because like I said, I'm a newbie. I'm still learning but I have fallen in love with this and definitely want to try these again. So with all that being said, let's take a quick flip through. Like I said, just random patterns, that it, colors that I thought my girls would enjoy. I did find in my stash some vellum sayings that had to do with travel. It's like this one says on the road again. And I just attached them all with washi tape on one end so that they could all be lifted up. And they could, you know, still put stuff underneath here 
but then be able to see through it, kind of give it a little layered look. Now on this particular one, they can color in the wording just to add a little bit of extra oomph to it. Over here, this is just plain white copy paper, but I added this little triangle scrap from the school pad. So this is actually from the school pad and then a strip of teal washi tape that matched the teal in the paper. On the back side of this copy paper, I just made a pocket using scraps from the paper on this side and I scored my piece of paper at one quarter inch on these three sides and then folded them and glued them down to give me like a little bit deeper pocket. So I do have a tag in here that I had in my stash, but they could stick something else in there like a ticket stub or something else in there as well. And then they still have room to do something up here. This page I have left blank. My daughter has already added a few stickers. This page is double sided. I did try to do a mix of double sided papers and then I also tried to mix up how I folded my papers. So some I folded with the pattern on the outside of the fold and some I folded with the pattern on the inside of the fold just so that I didn't have too many plain sides in a row. So I said I had done some stamping that was like my main form of embellishment in here. This, I did a bunch of little journal spots, and this particular one is from an old stamp set that I've had forever that's just got a bunch of little journal spots in it, and I think is that the symbol for Hampton Arts, maybe? I don't even remember. And then this Family Adventure Time stamp up here came from a Recollection stamp set, and it is called Bon Voyage. Bon Voyage, however you say that in... I love this one. I've used it for a bunch of different travel projects that I've done. Thought this cloud paper would be fun and then found a little airplane sticker in my stash. This paper here on the right, this little sheet, I don't know how well that's going to come through in the video, but it's like a, the pattern is a cross stitch grid. So I just thought like the grid pattern was fun and it would maybe give them better lines to write on or they could use it to draw. I don't know, just thought that would be fun for them. This destination label up here stamp is also from that Recollections set. Just some plain graph paper. This page was fun. It's like a white denim pattern, but then it had on the pocket down here, it had this little label, journal label already on there. So I thought that would be fun for some journaling. This stamp up here says Moments to Remember, and it is from a planner set that I have. I don't know, the packaging fell apart, so I don't know who it's from, but it came from Michael's, and it just has a bunch of like words that you would use in your planner, as well as some labels and tabs. This is just some lined paper, like it's supposed to be chalkboard look. There's another little journal spot down here. That's another planner set that I have, and it also, came from Michael's, it's the Recollections that'll focus, and it's just um, stamp and stencil. So it's got a bunch of little labels or embellishments, and then it also came with some doodle type stencils. This one I just cut a banner flag, or fishtail banner to match the pink bandana paper that was behind it. Here are some scraps from the school pad that I had. The black is actually from the matte paper and then the yellow polka dot was just scraps from another sheet. I did some pool pattern paper because it's summer. Hopefully the summer we will get to do lots of swimming and then just some fun colorful circles. This little road trip image, this was from a pad of paper that I probably got 17 years ago when I first started scrapbooking. I don't remember who they were by, but I had several of them and they're like an odd size. So what is that? Four or five inches wide and maybe seven, eight inches tall. And the, this particular pad was all travel themed. And a few years ago when I had cleaned out my stash, I had a bunch of this that I hadn't used. And so I thought my girls would have fun with it. So I had put it in their paper stash. And then when I did my journal, I went and dug out what they had left and found a few sheets that would actually work in their journals. So this just some grass paper. And then this looks like notebook paper, but it was actually a 12 by 12 sheet. So that would be good for journaling. This is a five by seven envelope. And here on the side, I just did some little label 
word stickers that talked about travel. And then this side I used a scrap from the border that I cut off of my map. But basically I took two envelopes. I don't ever use yellow envelopes. That's why I kind of picked them and for the fact that they coordinated with the map over here. But I just took one envelope with a flap and stuck the flap inside the opening of the other envelope and then cut the extra flap off and just so I would have like you know two pages from that were connected from the same envelope grouping whatever you want to call that. <laughs> Brain's not wanting to work today. But I just figured this would be a great place that they could put some memorabilia in or pictures whatever they wanted to and I haven't decided if I want to kind of cut this flap right here off a little more so they can get to it a little bit easier. If anybody has recommendations on that please let me know. Here I just printed out a colorful map of the United States and then sized it down so it fit half of a regular piece of copy paper. Just some double sided green. This was some purple tie dye. My girl's really into tie dye right now. And then this is just a little gray envelope. It's smaller than, I don't know the exact size, but it's smaller than a 3x5 which is why I have a bunch of them left in my stash because it's a size that I never use. So I figured that would be good for here. Again, they can tuck stuff in here. Lined paper for journaling. Here's some vellum. And then some more of that little travel pad that I've had forever. This You Are Here label actually came from the school pad. It was a cut apart. Oops. And then here's more of that border from the map page. And then summer vacation, that was from the vellum sayings. And so I kind of almost made it its own page here with the washi tape. And now we're on to the other half of my paper fold. So the patterns are going to be the same, but there are a few places where I've got some different types of embellishments. So here is the other side of the United States map page. And I actually, this is the state of Indiana where we live. And when we go camping, we tend to stay either in the state or kind of like right around, like in the tri-state area. So I figured it would be fun to say, okay, so here we are, and then this is where we live, and then this is where we're camping, or just so they can kind of get an idea of how far we've gone from home. Here's the other side of my envelope, just decorated with some more of the border on the map page. This is the other side of the lined page, the notebook lined page, and it had like this fun flower image. I thought it would be fun for them to color. And then this was a cardstock border, pre-cut border. You used to be able to buy like border packs. You may still be able to, but I just remember at one time I had tons of them and still have a bunch of them left in my stash. So I kind of went through there and found a color that matched the circle circles on this page just so it kind of gave it a fun little edge. So I may do that to some of the other pages in here as well just because I think that's like a fun twist. Another one of those vellum flaps. What else? Just a few other things I think on this half. Oh, this was a my mother-in-law gave me a pack of these. They're little craft bags and they have a, they were just a plain rectangle tag. Like you could just write a little note or something on there. So I did cut the tops, angle the tops to make it look like a tag and then put the craft paper bag in there. I glued it down and then went around the edges with some washi tape just to add some color. But I figured the girls would, they could journal on here if they wanted or draw on there and then still decorate the top of the bag. But I don't know where my mother-in-law got these. She is amazing at going to garage sales and auctions and finding great deals on really cool craft supplies. And she is kind enough to share them with me. So this was just one of her fun finds. And let's see, oh here, this was a scrap of paper from the other side of the green here. And this says photo taken. So it's just another journal prompt that came from my recollections travel set. And then another envelope. And I think that's it. So like I said, if you have any recommendations on 
anything else that I should add to these or a better way to bind them, a simple way to bind them, <laughs> please let me know. I am definitely open to suggestions. And after doing this, I can see how people get addicted to these because this was so fun and a great stash buster and it went together so quick. I think I did both of these like in an afternoon. Now granted, I didn't do a whole lot of detail to them or you know, just dressing the pages or anything like that. But oh my gosh, great stash buster. So this had been on my radar already for my oldest daughter, like for some summer projects because she loves to journal and draw and doodle and take pictures with her little Polaroid camera that she has and kind of combine them all together. And so she's been using like these little bitty, maybe three by three spiral bound scrapbooks that we had inherited from a cousin and she's been working on these little bitty ones. They actually, they're the perfect size for her Polaroid pictures, her Instax pictures. But, you know, and she, sometimes she doesn't even include pictures. She will just draw a picture of an event that she was at and then, you know, maybe label it. So I thought these would be a good project for her this summer. Just, you know, she's, she loves mixed media. And so I figured this would be good for her. Plus it would be a good stash buster for me. So these were already on my radar. And now that I have done this one, I will definitely do more, not just for her, but for myself as well. And I would like to do one that is more like distressed and aged, kind of go more for a vintage look. And like one of the things I would still like to find for theirs, if I can find it in the new, near future, if I can get to Goodwill or garage sale, is to find like some old maps, you know, put some more map pages in here, or maybe find a travel magazine that I can tear some pages out and cut down to put in here as well. So super fun, great stash buster. Not my original idea by any means, but thank you, Sarah, for the idea of the journal that led me to do these. Like I said, I was stuck with that paper. So Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this and can find a way to use up some of your paper on making these fun little junk journals. If you have any questions about anything, or like I said, if you have any suggestions, please let me know in the comments below. Thanks for your time today, and I hope you guys have a crafty rest of your week.